Starting and running a business is hard, but you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're an established business owner or thinking about starting a side hustle to earn extra income, I am here to teach you how to show up as your unfiltered self, level up your business, and thrive as a mompreneur. Let's embrace the chaos and start enjoying the journey together. I'm Amy Tra, and you're listening to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Hello, everyone. I am joined by a special guest today. I have Rebecca of Mainstream Boutique North Canton with me. Mainstream is located right across from Walsh University in North Canton, and it is the most fabulous boutique ever. So if you have not been there before, you want to make sure to check it out. So without further ado, Rebecca, welcome to the Motivated Mompreneur podcast. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm so excited to get in and and dive in and talk with you today. So tell us a little bit about your journey. Where did you start? You know, have you always been a business owner? Tell us your journey. All right. Well, when you say journey, it makes me feel super, super old. And I don't feel (laughs) that way, but I guess there has been a journey. Uh, You know, I went to school for fashion, um, merchandising, marketing and management. I, from a young age, was always interested in art and fashion. So there really wasn't any kind of discrepancy there about what I was going to go and do, um, just how, and I moved to Charlotte, uh, to go to school there to the art Institute of Charlotte. I was there for four years almost. And, um, it just really solidified that, that that's where I was supposed to be in kind of my calling. I did some work with Belk stores, um, which is like a Macy's, uh, department store down there. I did some work with them in their private label. Um, and then I moved back here 2008, kind of when the recession hit, um, you know, it's kind of a wild ride for everybody and just mm-hmm. graduating in that December. And I did some event planning over at the Metropolitan Center. And then oddly enough, I did uh, for almost four years, some uh, uh, marketing management for a senior care facility here in Canton, Ohio. And as odd as it may be, I mean, I was still, you know, customer service and connecting with people is really just my heart song. I just love, um, stories and um just connecting with people and making them feel loved on um somewhere towards the end of that four years or middle you know my heart was really being called upon to just really come back into fashion I just really wanted to be somewhere where I could um do the buying and encapsulate making people feel loved and um, stylish and kind of make it like a cheers bar-esque kind of place for women to come. I love and, that. Yes. You know, yes. like where everybody knows kind of place. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, and so that's kind of where it came from. You know, it, I was like 26 at the time. I was young and I was bold and fearless and had no kids. Uh, <laughs> So I guess, um, you know, engaged or married. No, I was married at the time. So I talked to Eric and he's like, listen, if that's what you want to do, we don't have too much to lose. Let's go for it. So yeah. except, you know, your, your prominent paying job of a salary and, right. you know, 401k right. and all those things. Right. Right. Uh, it was scary, but yeah. So, so all in all, you know, it kind of took a year to put everything together mm-hmm. and we're on year 10. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. So, you know, it it hasn't been an easy journey along the way. I mean, going through a pandemic recently, which you also have, um, you have a second grader, correct? I have a second grader and I have a (laughs) three-year-old. So yeah, you were like suddenly thrust upon, like into this, this fire of, all right, how am I going to have my business survive during this pandemic? How am I going to, you know, navigate kids and being at home? How did you do it? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like the number one question, right? Does everybody right. want to ask that coming out of that? I don't know. To, to, to be honest with you, I don't know. All I know, it's, it's what I know best is to just forge forward, be flexible. I really heavily try to rely on my faith. Um, mm-hmm. and my family, you need that support. If you don't have that support, I mean, what else are you going to do? So it's kind of like the concoction or the equation for everything. Right. So, um, Definitely. you know, that time, at that time, my sister and I owned it together. We, we parted ways in 2021, no animosity, no anything like that. We sure. actually talked about it before 2021. Um, she has a culinary degree and I have a fashion degree. So I don't, you know, it was never meant to be a forever thing, but, um, you know, she stuck with 
me through the pandemic and we, mm. we held hands and we went live every single day and we talked about recipes. We talked about, I don't know. We just, we just hopped on and virtually talked to everybody. That's what nice. we did for 81 days. I love it. And I mean, really just like you said, forging forward, taking that yeah. next step and, and doing things scared and just, you know, kind of distance yourself from that outcome of, all right, well, we're going to try it and see what happens. So I think that's fear is something a lot mo I don't know anybody that doesn't have some fear throughout the day. And, you know, am I making the right decision? Am I doing the right thing for my family? Am I raising these kids? Okay. But to just forge forward and have that support, I think is, is definitely needed. Of course, I think in anything, right? Definitely. And then too, having your faith as a foundation to fall back on, you know, if you don't have that, it's just, whew, it's an even harder journey. Fun. Definitely. It's blind, really. And you know, the whole world was going through the same thing. So I think right. everybody gave everybody grace, right? A little, Definitely. you know, it's, it's kind of a time I wish we would all go back to kind of in a way because it was so much grace was given to everybody. Right. And there was so it. much support for one another and just rallying around one another and that sense of community. It was, it was kind of nice not to have to rush around all the time. <laughs> as much as you as much as we look back on it and say oh gosh that was just such a crazy time it was kind of a beautiful time too right right exactly I remember the weather was just absolutely stunning that spring it was just crazy because you know I, I was furloughed from my job and I remember being home with the kids I'm like oh this is this is kind of nice I mean once I survived the homeschooling parks my oldest was in kindergarten at the time so you know I, that was a yeah. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. You know, we did crafts and cocktails and it was fine, but I'm not the crafty mom. You know, I, I am not Pinterest perfect and that's okay. That's who I am, but we survived. And, you know, at the time my kids were like, mom, I don't like you being my teacher. You're the worst mom. And now they're always like, I wish we could do that again. I'm like, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> so I must've done okay. I didn't, you know, like traumatize them too bad, but Yes, we, we all make it through one way or another. Uh, so what advice can you give other moms starting a business, running a business? What have you learned along the way? <clears throat> I think it's easy to fall into the trap. I think it's very easy to fall in the trap, but I still do this. And I have to remind myself when you love your business more than your family, um, it it doesn't fall into place. For me, it's very important to have balance. I could very yes. easily open three stores. I mean, not easily, but I could open three stores. I could drown myself. I could be there seven days a week, you know, but then you don't have anything else to give to anybody else, to your right. staff, um, to the community, to your family. You have to trust others to carry carry out you know your expectations. So I would say that don't try to do it all by yourself. If you, if you, um, if, if you, if you drown in it and then, you, and then you just, you, you suffer and the business actually ends up suffering. It doesn't make it better. And then also um, to start off small. I mean, yeah. when I look back at the pictures, you don't have to come out with a bang of like all this inventory or all these events or all these things you grow into it. Because if you get in and you drown at the very beginning, it's very hard to come back up. That's, that would be my two biggest things. Start off small, you know, Those, that is don't incredible. Yeah. 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 And, and like you said, you know, the balance with the family, it's so important because it's easy to be working 24 seven in your business. And I don't want my kids to feel like they're, they're, you know, on the back burner because I'm trying to grow a business. So I even struggle with that as well. And I'm trying to be more intentional and set those boundaries and okay, these are my work hours when I'm not in my work hours the phone's going away. I'm not looking at my emails. I've disabled all the social media notifications because I want to be present for my kids. You know, I'm, I'm looking at them already and they're, they're in first and third grade. And it's like, what the heck happened? Like, didn't we just come home from the hospital with them? We were just talking about that yesterday. Like what, what happened? Where are we? Are we in a time warp? Because I, I don't know, post pandemic, I feel like time has just gone exponentially faster. Do you feel that I way too? Yes. I do. I do it's just wild. And I'm like, what's, what's happening? So yeah, trying to be more present is, is an ongoing struggle. It's an ongoing yeah, struggle. It but, but you got to delegate. Too. Yes. You to delegate. Cause if you really want people to be invested in your business, like your right. baby or something that puts food on the t table for your family, you have to trust people. It's right. not always about like, 
so much money. You know, some people just want to feel a part of something and have responsibility and like, look at their strengths, play to their strengths so that you can delegate to them to make that actually makes them better employees when they have their hand in a little bit, not too much that they can be responsible for. Exactly. And trusting in that, you know, it, it's hard to ask for help, but I think sometimes it's even harder than to trust someone else because you do care so deeply about this business, but it, it's, it's so important. I love it. That. Is. I love that. Now you guys are doing some great things in the community to support fellow business owners. So what are some of the types of events you host or what, what types of things is mainstream doing to support local in the community. Oh my gosh. You know, that's one thing I really missed during the pandemic, right? Like, cause we weren't doing as many of those things. And we kind of opened up that way. That was kind of like what Elizabeth was doing her, all those events and things like that. Um, So I've always been, you know, actively involved in the community as much as possible, whether it be in my church or volunteering things. So I was like, okay, how can we host these events and make it like fashion for a cause. So, right. you know, right now we're doing every Wednesday in October, I have a nonprofit that we're calling it spread the love event. So we partner with a nonprofit. They don't have to show up. We just talk about it, bring awareness to it, show volunteer opportunities. And then 10% of the sales every Wednesday go back to um, that organization to help them live out their, um, their mission. We also do um, pop-up shops. So like take whatever you're seeing at like a 720 or something like that. And we partner with these gals in our shop because women are already shopping anyway. So why not give them a little boost? Um, We don't charge them to be there. We just, you know, it's just a showcase for them. Uh, We do fashion shows like off premise. I have one coming up on the the Saturday, actually, for the Ronald McDonald House, Wine, Women and Shoes. Um, It's a big event. We do the Altman one. We also like to do like, uh, we're bringing back like the little crafty nights too. So we're doing the things like with um, Deer Path, we're painting uh, three tiered stands for the holidays, little coffee bars, or you can do like a winter's thing or so paint and shop things. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love it. You are truly supporting community and bringing people together. And I just absolutely love that about you guys, just how much you support your fellow business owners, because at the end of the day, it truly is about community over competition. When we can raise each other up, it's such a better world. It just, we all succeed then, you know, when we're empowering each other, we can learn from each other. We can grow. We can help everyone thrive. So Rebecca, where can we find more about you? Where are you online? Okay. Well, we are on Facebook, Main Street Boutique North Canton. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, we go live there. So that's a great way to see our new arrivals. Um, and then on Instagram, we are Mainstream North Canton. So we post on there daily. And our stories are a great way to see what's just getting unpacked and what's brand new. Um, and then, which last, last fall, this time, MainstreamBoutiqueNorthCanton.com is a 24-7 e-commerce site. So when things are up there, when we get them in, we put them up on the website. You can do pickup or you can ship out whatever you want to do. That is fabulous. And we will link all of those up in the show notes for you. So Rebecca, thank you so much again for taking the time out of your crazy busy schedule to share your knowledge with us, to share so much value with us. We appreciate everything you're doing. Thank you for, to you as well and everything you're doing. It's an amazing, amazing, um, just just what, what you're doing is just amazing for the business community, especially moms. And I'm so excited for, I'm so excited for confidence sales. Oh, thank you so much. So are we. So everyone, if you are loving the podcast, please take a minute to leave us a review. We would truly appreciate it.